everyone. So by now you would have known all about the coronavirus. So today I thought we'd do something fun with food coloring and a straw. Today we're going to make a germ, but we're going to do the coronavirus germ. Okay everyone, so with a little bit of imagination and a lot of fun, we're going to make this time quite enjoyable and we're going to pretend that that is what the coronavirus looks like. In class, when we talk about Jerry the germ, we usually use a potato and we stick all sorts of things in him to make him look a bit weird and scary. Um, but today we have some food coloring and a straw. And what you're going to do, you can choose, I just made my first coronavirus germ red, but let's make him green today. So you take your food coloring, you drop just a tiny bit onto the page. And the great thing about using food coloring is that if our little ones, they don't know how to blow through a straw yet, they might get it wrong. You know, it's not at the end of the world if they suck up any food coloring, but they shouldn't. So here we go. Oh, my germ isn't looking too good. Might have to edit that out. I needed more. Can you add some more food coloring? And you make it any which shape you want to. And there you go. And make sure this is a bit dark, but you can always just spread it out. Right, and then you leave that to dry and you can give him some scary eyes, scary teeth, or if you think he's a friendly germ, you can give him a smile. So once you've done that, you can also do some other things, which is really a lot of fun. So what I did before was drew a little person and when he saw the coronavirus, he got a big fright and his hair went up. So that's another fun activity you can do. So the next picture you can try and do, we can just again make it really fun and you can draw a person's face who is getting frightened by the coronavirus and he gets such a fright that his hair goes wild and is looking a bit shocking. So I've quickly done a blank one here just to show you and just a nice technique, especially if you're at home and you don't have any paint or paint brushes, you put a little bit of food coloring onto a cotton wool, cotton bud, and you can also just paint it on. There you go, give him a nice yellow shirt. Right, so the next thing we can do, we can make sure our coronavirus, let's do him in red here. So again, you just put a little, oh, that might be a bit much, and you blow. And that's fine, so he's coming ready to frighten this person. And let's make give him some hair. Oh, let's make sure that goes along. And we can make sure it's flying the other way. And you can do whatever you want. You can just make it really fun. So it looks like he's got a nice fright from the coronavirus and you can give your little virus a, a scary face or not or whatever you want to do and remember if you want to color any picture in use a cotton bud use food coloring and really have some fun enjoy